Hello and welcome to the E Premier League Invitational. I'm Adam Smith and I'm pleased to say that I'll be alongside my good friends Joe Tomlinson and Harry Panera as we bring you five days of competitive FIFA action to find out who is the best FIFA 20 player from the Premier League. We're currently on day one going into match three. And Joe, we've seen some alright games so far. Goals galore in the opening two games. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's an understatement. We've seen seven goals in each of the last two games, 14 goals in total already today, and we've only played two games. But a quick reminder, if you are watching from home, stay home and save lives. All of the prize fund from this E-Premier League Invitational is going to be donated towards the Players Together initiative, so that's great to see. Now, as Smithy said, we've already had two big results so far today. We've had Aston Villa against Brighton where Neil Mopé hammered John McGinn 6-1. Arsenal were represented by Josh Franceschi and he defeated Nathaniel Chalaba 4-3 in a hotly contested game that saw Chalaba come from behind to make it 3 or before Josh got a last minute winner. Next game we're going to see is Burnley versus West Ham and the final game of the day is the South Coast derby between Bournemouth and Southampton. Let's see who's representing the teams then. Up next, we've got Dwight McNeil representing Burnley and Ryan Fredericks representing West Ham. The final game of the day, we'll see one of the tournament's favourite players, Philip Billing, take on Angus Gunn of Southampton. Smithy, unbelievable game so far. Do you want to just give people that are tuning in now a quick rule reminder? Yeah, of course, these are the all-important rules for the tournament that you need to be aware of. Uh, the EPL Invitational is a straight knockout tournament. You lose one game and you are out. It is as simple as that. The tournament takes place over five days and each round consists of just one single match. Every single Premier League club is represented either by a player from their squad or a celebrity fan. The draw took place yesterday, courtesy of Jamie Redknapp. On day one, there are four round one qualifying matches. We then go into the last 16 on days two and three. Three, and the quarterfinals take place on day four. Both semi-finals and the final will take place on Saturday, which is, of course, our fifth and final day. Games will consist of two six-minute halves. In the event of a draw, the result will then be determined by a golden goal. Every Premier League squad will be 85 rated in kickoff mode as they battle on PS4 to find out who is the best player in the league. Yeah, we, as I said earlier, Josh Franceschi getting through that game and he will play the winner of today's next matchup, Burnley versus West Ham, either Dwight McNeil or Ryan Fredericks. Neil Mopé breezed through, quite frankly, in the first game of the day and he will be facing either Philip Billing or Angus Gunn from Southampton. There are some other massive games. You guys will notice that Man United-Liverpool was drawn as one of the first games out in the round of 16. We've also got City versus Palace, Wolves, Leicester... We've got Todd Cantwell, who is the tournament favourite. I keep saying it at every stream. He'll be taking on Lise Mousset of Sheffield United. Tottenham Newcastle, I think, is going to be an interesting one tomorrow, though, Smithy, because Moussa Sissoko will be playing against his old team. Yeah, exactly that. Moussa Sissoko against former club Newcastle. Um, so many big fixtures there, Joe. Man City, uh, Palace sees, of course, Raheem Sterling against Wilfred Zaha. So a lot of big matches. But I'm very much looking forward to this one. Um, Dwight McNeil against Ryan Fredericks. And I think we can uh, we can have a little word with Dwight now. Dwight and Smithy, how are you going into this game? I think we're having a few technical difficulties. We, we can see you, Dwight, but we can't uh, hear Dwight at the minute. Dwight, can you Go hear us all right? We can't. We can hear you now. There we go. I was asking you how you're feeling. Are you now, confident? Yeah. Are you nervous going into this? What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. But no, I've been practicing recently and um, hopefully get the win today. Now, I've spoken to you before. Uh, we've chatted occasionally about FIFA. I spoke to you about FIFA. We've interviewed about FIFA. I've seen you play FIFA. You're a bit of a sort of favourite in this. I'm not, I'm not going to say you are the favourite for the tournament, but you are, let's be honest, a good FIFA player, aren't you? I'm all, I'm all right. I can... <laughs> obviously make mistakes but um no um obviously today hopefully can get the win and progress into the next round and of course uh, your first round matchup is against ryan fredericks of west ham what do you know about your opponent going into this don't know anything don't know anything what his playing style is how he plays is he defensive does he keep the ball but we'll have to see when we get in there does that make it easier or harder not knowing because i suppose in a way if you don't know how good he is it can relax you but obviously not knowing his style and his tactics um, can also work the other way. So is that a good or a bad thing, not knowing what he's like, do you think? Uh, I think it's a bit of both. 
like you said. Um, but no, I'm looking forward to it and just doing my best and see what the result. Okay, so they are the thoughts of Dwight McNeil. Dwight McNeil looking very serious. Uh, and a lot of people, we've seen a lot of people getting their thoughts in. Look, he's smiling, he's laughing, he doesn't want to admit it, but a lot of people know that he is a bit of a player, Joe. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how Dwight gets on in his first match. Yeah, exactly. We've also got Ryan Fredericks on the line. Ryan, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you, mate. So Dwight there saying he doesn't know how you're going to play, how you're going to line up. Do you want to give away anything now before we get into the game? I don't really know myself, to be honest, mate. I just get out there and try and <laughs> score a few goals. Okay, Dwight says he plays quite a lot. How, how often do you play FIFA yourself? Uh, I used to play it quite a bit, to be fair. And then when other games come out, I started playing them more. So I haven't played for a few months. Are you going to be competitive in the lineup today? Can we see? Can we? Are we going to see you fist pumping if you score goals? No, nah, no, nah, way too early for that. It'll get rubbed in my face if I go on to lose the next game. So, okay, way too early. I say you sound quietly confident, though, Ryan Smithy. Over to you. Yeah, OK, so this is the time. Uh, as we know, uh, every game prior to each match, we are going to do a little bit of a FIFA versus so a quiz off between the players. So this is going to take place before every match in the EPO Invitational. Well, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask Dwight McNeil five questions. Then I'm going to ask Ryan five questions, testing your knowledge on FIFA. So, uh, Dwight, you're up first. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Let's do it. OK, Dwight, OK, uh, we want to compare you and your opponent today. Uh, so can you tell me who is higher rated on FIFA 20, Ryan Fredericks or Dwight McNeil? See, it's close. Um, I it think is. it's just me, just me, yeah. Right, can I just say as well, um, it's a very tough first question. I didn't write them, but you're both oh, rated same, 74. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so it's a tough <laughs> first question, but that is wrong. So next question. Um, we know crossing is the strength of your game, but in a head-to-head, -head, who is better, your teammate Robbie Brady or West Ham's Robert Snodgrass? So on crossing, Robbie Brady or Robert Snodgrass? I'm going back Robbie. Yeah, Robbie Brady. It's not Robbie Brady. It is Snodgrass really? by one again. Apologies, that is that is not out of two, Dwight. Next up, uh, last time I spoke to you, we did a little FIFA interview and you actually said very modestly, you think you should be slower on the game. Um, so... Yeah. In, in reference of that, we want to know who you think is slower out of Jack Cork or Mark Noble. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love how Ryan's laughing. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Neither of them are that quick. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it. Cork it. I've got to say, I'm sorry, you're wrong again. Jack Cork, 47. <laughs> Mark Noble. Mark Noble, Ryan, 41 for pace, Ryan. Yeah, that's not his game. He's a passer. He's not a runner. Maybe <laughs> clever. Back I like the day, how you answered that. Not now. Very, very clever. Uh, right, fourth question. Who, according to FIFA 20, is the better passer, Ashley Westwood or Johan Berggood Munson? Westside, Ashley Westwood. It is. Ashley Westwood, 79. Goodmanson, 78. One out of four. Congrats, Dwight. Final question. Who has the highest aggression stat? Ashley Barnes or Phil Bardsley? Bardo. Phil Bardsley. Bardo. It's not. They've given it to Ashley Barnes. Not? So should that be... Oh, no. It's not, no. Should it be Bard? Should it, it be Bardsley? Bardo's the most aggressive guy. In tra even in training. He's... Even in training sometimes. If he loses it, then... Slightly tackles coming out everywhere, but I will give it bad off. He's like, he's like that all the time, aggressive, twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. The way, yeah, the way he plays, he just the way he trains. But best way to be in it. Okay, Ryan. Um, Dwight McNeil scored one out of five, so of course you just need to get two right to win. These are Ryan Frederick's five FIFA questions. Uh, of course, Ryan, you are known for your pace, but who is faster, yourself or Burnley's Matty Vidra, according to FIFA twenty? Uh, I'd have to go with myself, to be fair. Correct, it is yourself. And of course, you are absolutely rapid on the game. 92, which is the fastest on West Ham team. Uh, equal Dwight score already after just one question. Uh, next up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just as bad at the sorry. game as he's answering the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight, you just need one to win. Are you, are you getting nervous, Dwight, about one this? Win. Yeah, it's not a good start, is it, already? But luckily, don't go into the game. Like, you don't get excited. Okay, next up, Ryan. Uh, of course, we know West Ham got a, a few good penalty experts in your side, but I want to know who is better, 
at penalties, Mark Noble or Sebastian Allaire, according to FIFA 20? Uh, I think it's Seb. I think I saw his stat the other day when I was practicing a little bit. I think it's like 91 or something like that. Spot on. It is Seb Haller. <laughs> Spot on. It is 91. And he's been practicing, Dwight. This is nervous times for Dwight McNeil. It is two out of two. Yeah, he'll be taking my pens. He'll be taking my pens if I get one. <laughs> Love it. Um, this is a good one, this. Both yourself and your opponent today, Dwight, are 74 rated. But which one of you has the better dribbling stats? It's very close. Uh, I have to go with Dwight, to be fair. He's a winger, isn't it? So he should have the better dribbling. Ryan Frederick, 72. Dwight McNeil, 75. It is correct. It's three out of three. Yeah. Uh, so it's a nice question, actually. See what I've done there. So, Dwight, you win, you win the, um, the high stat, but <laughs> Ryan gets the question. So you can, I'm keeping both of you happy. <laughs> um, fourth question. Who has the best defending, Balbuena or Ben Mee? Ooh. Sorry, Balbuena, but I think probably Ben on the game. No, it's not. Balbuena, 80. Ben, me, 79. So that is three out of four yeah. going into the last question. Uh, as a defender, we've got to include a tackling question, of course. Which player has the best slide tackle stat on the West Ham team? Uh, maybe Declan. Declan Rice. It's not. It's Issa Duke, but it didn't matter because you do win scores okay. on the doors. One out of five for Dwight McNeil. Three out of five, Ryan Fredericks. Ryan, what does that mean to you? You've won the first battle. Does that give you confidence going into the game? Yeah, I'll take the psychological battle, see if that transfers into the game. <laughs> Hopefully it does. <laughs> Love it. Okay, guys, you can start the game. We are ready to go. Harry, uh, another competitive quiz, uh, but of course, Ryan coming out on top. Yes, another good quiz. Um, I can see another gamer chair. I can see another gaming chair. We know what gaming <laughs> chairs are like after the first game. That's no, my so... con chair. Oh, the con chair. So that's the, for the back support then. Yeah, it's my con chair. Yeah, it's my con chair. Yeah, I can't wait, man. Hey, Joe, this is going to be probably one of the most serious games out of the out of the three. I can see both of them are probably good at FIFA. What do you think is going to happen in this game, Joe? Yeah, this is for sure going to be a tight affair. Obviously, we saw Josh Franceschi get through. So this is the face of Josh Franceschi in uh, the next round and we are kicked off here Burnley obviously starting us off against West Ham Dwight McNeil versus Ryan Fredericks all to play for of course both of the teams playing in 85 mode so all of the eight players are 85 rated no unevenness there all three star skills so expect a few drag backs and stuff like that and I think we can see early doors how Dwight's going to play it's going to be possession based football Smithy yeah, it is indeed. Uh, Dwight McNeil with the oh, first chance, but it's uh, collected by the key. What's interesting as well, these two have met each other before on the pitch, of course. Burnley coming up 3-0 winners at West Ham. And of course, both Dwight McNeil and Fredericks played the full match. They would have been up against each other as well, because Dwight McNeil playing on the wing and, of course, Ryan playing as a fullback. And McNeil got an assist for Chris Wood goal that day. So they've come up against each other on the pitch. Dwight McNeil uh, victorious that day. And interesting to see who will come out on top in our third game of the day of day one joe should be a crack at this yeah we've seen some fantastic fifa ability already i'd say neil mopai looks like the current favorite from the players we've seen obviously dispatching john mcginn 6-1 a fairly comfortable affair opening the, the ties up but i think josh franceschi could be a little bit of a dark horse you know he's got a lot of time on his hands at the moment to practice obviously as a mu musician and i think he'll be given whoever wins this game a really, really tough match in the next round. Obviously, there are some other big players in there. Trent Alexander-Arnold's going to fancy himself against Tom Grennan. I think Todd Campwell is going to fancy himself, as is Philip Billing, and he would face Neil Mopay in the next round. So it's going to be a really interesting next few days. Harry, are the people sending in any questions, any thoughts? Yes, uh, a lot of questions. I'm going to start with one question for Dwight. Uh, Dwight, what was the first FIFA you played? Oh... First FIFA, probably FIFA 7 when my dad was on it. That oh, one. okay. Yeah. Off his and was he, was, he the, yeah, that oh. one. was he the most selected player from you? For me, yeah. He was, yeah. Okay, I can only imagine. I've uh, got one for Ryan as well. Um, Ryan, do you ever FIFA rage quit? Oh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. I love the honesty. There. I love the honesty. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, if it goes past two 0 
That's, that's me done. Is a chance? Oh, Ooh. Dwight's hit the post. Oh, oh, really good build up play by Dwight McNeil. Very patient, very similar to Neil Mopay's oh, wow. style of passing it in around the area very intricately. And that's a risk from Ryan Fredericks on the edge of his own box. And now Dwight McNeil looking to take advantage of that mistake. Very patient build up, lots of intricate passing around the edge, as we saw also from Neil Mopay, as I just said. I think we've got a bit of a FIFA player on our hands here is Dwight McNeil. And that is 1-0 to Burnley. 20 minutes into the game. Jay Rodriguez with the goal. Burnley 1, West Ham 0, Harry. Dwight McNeil, please explain to us. Talk us through that goal, man. Amazing goal. It's just about keeping, isn't it? Um, Same composer around the area and find the opening. Strong, strong finish there, Joe. He, he's a man that is serious. I already knew this game was going to be tight, but how tight is this game, Joe? Yeah, you can tell that Dwight McNeil definitely plays his FIFA at home. The slow, patient, intricate build-up around the box, taking your time, looking to pick the man out when he is free. But, you know, Ryan's coming back into it now. This is a strong attack. Ooh. Ooh. And you can see this could be one of the closest oh. games we've had so far. Even the 4-3, Josh Franceschi at one mm. stage was, was kind of rolling away with the game. And Nathaniel managed to pull it back in the last five minutes. So this looks like it's going to be an exciting game, Smithy. Yeah, I think Dwight dominating possession early on, but Ryan just feeling his way back into the game. I think this is going to be a very tight game, as we said earlier. We saw a tight game for our second match, but I think we're going to see uh, a very close encounter here. Uh, Dwight McNeil, of course, worth pointing out, been on great form on the pitch in the Premier League this season. One of only four players to start every league game for Burnley this season. He's incidentally the youngest player to have started every Premier League game for their club this season as well. Um, 2,534 minutes is the third most of any player aged 21 or younger. So a man in form on the pitch. He's got an assist against West Ham. He played against Ryan earlier on in the season. And he looks like he is going to be a very... Um, Decent FIFA player as well, but not a lot in this, Joe. Uh, one nil currently as we approach the 30-minute uh, mark. Yeah, Dwight McNeil carving open a few opportunities there. I really like this patient build-up from him. You can definitely tell he plays a lot of FIFA when he's not on the training ground. But there are some exceptional players in this tournament, so there's a long, long way to go, of course. This is just for a spot in the last 16, 12 teams did get buys through to that stage. Yeah. Aston Villa, Brighton... Bournemouth, Southampton, Arsenal, Watford of this game, Burnley, West Ham were the four teams that didn't, or the eight teams, sorry, that didn't. Four of them will be going through. And at the moment, Burnley, with 10 minutes left of this first half, are comfortable. They look OK on the ball, although West Ham progressing it nicely up the field now, Harry. Yeah, it seems as if um, Ryan's literally finding, trying to find some space, but um, he's not being allowed by Dwight. So it's a very, very tight game. Um, I've got a question for Ryan. Um, do you mock your point opponents with your celebration? Oh, technical difficulties there. As if it's gone off. <laughs> share has been is lost. There... Oh, is it? The share play's gone off. What are you saying? Restart the game, yeah? Let's let's see if we what can get it back. What do I have to Okay, do so we've got, a few, we've got a few technical issues here. Do I have to we'll let the guys it? sort out behind the scenes. Adam, what did you make of that first sort of 20, 30 minutes of gameplay? Obviously, Dwight McNeil controlling the ball brilliantly in the midfield and scoring a great goal early doors. Do you think, do you think he looks as strong contender as like, the likes of Neil Mopé? Yeah, I think we do. I think the difference is, just, just to uh, elaborate on what you said there, Joe, about the technical, we have got a technical difficulty with the game, so that is being sorted out with the players. I believe it was 32 minutes on the clock and it was 1-0 uh, to Brighton, uh, to, 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 to Burnley, sorry, to Dwight McNeil. So we will obviously resolve that technical issue uh, and be back in the game very shortly. But yeah, I think the difference, Joe, is that Neil Mopai got off to such a quick early start in terms of goals. It was 4-0 up, I think, in the space of about 30 minutes. The difference with this, I think, we've seen Dwight McNeil straight away dominating possession on the ball a lot um, but it is only 1-0 so it does make us think that this is going to be quite a tight game and I do expect Ryan uh, to score at some stage in this game. Yeah I think we were talking about Dwight McNeil coming into this game as one of the favourites for the tournament weren't we alongside the likes of Todd Cantwell, Philip Billing, Trent Alexander-Arnold plays a lot uh, himself. Harry have you been impressed by his start? Yeah very impressed very composed um, he looks like he's very very Subtle player doesn't go for the extravagant stuff, and he will kill you with um, any open chances. So I'm I'm so excited for the game to come back on. Um, but listen, Ryan, I do feel like he's uh, someone that will come and surprise us. So I don't want to just write him off too soon. 
so I'm excited for this to, to start again, man. Yeah, I noticed he recently played Mikel Antonio on 2 0 as well there, Smithy. So people shouldn't be writing off Ryan Fredericks just yet. No, you're right. He has had some uh, some big FIFA games that we have uh, lucky enough been able to see at some point. Ryan Fredericks played Mikel Antonio, as you said, 1 2 0, but he also played Declan Rice uh, and lost 2 1. So it makes me think that there's a very competitive FIFA scene going on at West Ham. And obviously, we've both spoken to Mikel Antonio and Declan Rice at different parts in the season um, about their love for FIFA. So there's a real strong. FIFA competitive element going on at West Ham. And I know that Ryan Fredericks is one of those elite players or one of the players that you'd put in the category of being uh, strong at FIFA and playing a lot of games. And I think he's got a tough first round draw. I think that's very important. You have to bear in mind who they're coming up against. And Dwight McNeil looks like he is going to be a, a serious player in this game, Joe. Yeah, it looks like we're back in the game. Boys. I don't know whether you can still hear us. If you can, feel free to resume the match. Uh, because we are back, on back and ready. I think it's back and working now, fingers crossed. Harry, having watched Josh Franceschi earlier, how do you You're think the winner of this game would shape up against him? Well, um, I'm not too sure, but I think these lads have got more uh, of a waiting game plan in comparison to the front three of um, Arsenal. On. So it, it's a bit of a difficult yeah. question to answer, but... Very confident in these two, these two lads, um, especially Dwight at the moment. But uh, like I said, Ryan's an underdog here, so let's not write him off yet. So can't wait for this yeah, to continue. Plenty of, time left. plenty of time left in this game. We are approaching the half time stage, though. It'll be interesting to see whether or not either of them opt to make any changes. That was really pivotal in the game between Nathaniel Chalabar and Josh Franceschi. Of course, we have also seen Neil Mopay win very very comfortably earlier today and our final game will feature Philip Billing who according to a lot of the FIFA community is one of the better footballers on the game there is the halftime whistle Harry are there any questions for the players from the fans yes a lot of questions okay so one for Dwight uh Dwight what has been your favorite goal for Burnley yeah. oh my favorite goal um I think my most can you hear me Yes, yeah, yeah. fairly. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, my most important goal, first goal, I think it's probably the Wolves one last season because um, the way it was after um, international break and we had some big games coming up like Cardiff and Bournemouth away. And um, it was just an important time to get the second goal. And it was crucial in our season and um, proved for us uh, to stay up in the league. <coughs> oh, great. Thank you for answering that. And now, Ryan, I've got one for you. Uh, we, we've already been uh, noted how fast you are, 92 on FIFA, but is there anyone who you have personal races with in a training ground at West Ham? Um, I don't think they really let us do uh, like a flat out 100 metre race because in case of injury or something, yeah. but when I come up against like Anderson or Antonio in training, it's always a tough, a tough battle. I mean, you're getting some good races there. Okay, cool. So the game's about to restart. Good luck for the second half, Joe. Tough one. Let's go, man. Yeah, this is going to be a tough second half here for Ryan Fredericks. He needs to progress the ball forward because we know how well Dwight McNeil defends. Very, very compact. Then he keeps the ball. It's difficult to get it off him. You can just see him progress up the field now, though, Fredericks. And here will be a chance. Ooh. A free kick Ooh. on the edge of the box there. Ben Mee giving away a foul in a very, very dangerous position here for Ryan Fredericks. Needs to make the most of this. He's going to put Felipe Anderson over the dead ball, 23 yards out. Let's see what happens. He switched up, free kick taker, obviously taking his time. Ooh, just Ooh. over the bar there, just over the bar. So the score says 1-0 to Burnley, Smithy. Yeah, 1-0. I thought that was a big chance there uh, for West Ham, but danger is clear. Just earlier on the first half, we were talking about Dwight Mineo on the season that he's having, Joe. Uh, five Premier League assists, three goals as well. Stats are really impressive. Second best crossing actually in the Premier League, created the most chances this season of any Burnley player. Um, so he is definitely a, a man in form. Youngest player since Raheem Sterling to reach 10 Premier League assists as well. So man in form on the pitch, but also is coming up against a guy who, as we said on the game, Ryan Fredericks, absolutely rapid, quickest player at West Ham, one of the quickest players in the Premier League as well. Um, so uh, two players that have played against each other in the Premier League, literally against each other on the wing and at fullback. And there's not a lot in this game at the minute, Joe. I think that second goal is an obvious thing to say in football, but oh. this next goal is going to be absolutely crucial. 
Yeah, 100%. I think we saw 14 goals across the first two games. It looks like this one isn't going to see as many, but it is just as tight as the last one between Josh Franceschi and Nathaniel Chalobah. Dwight McNeil just continuing with that slow, progressive build-up style, you know, looking to pick the gaps. Very, very similar to Neil Mopay's style. And those are a two, two players that could well face each other at the quarter-final stage if they do indeed progress. McNeil into the box here. It's very intricate. <laughs> Dwight McNeil makes it 2-0. Lovely football by Dwight McNeil. Great build-up, Harry. Great, great build-up. And as I said, the subtle approach has worked again. So, Dwight, this way of uh, attacking, is this what works for you, uh, taking your time with it? Yeah, this is what works for me. Um, slow build-up. Um, looking always to cause an opening. If not, try and switch out the other side and more for that opening. But just about taking chances in it as well at the end of the day. And anything could happen, so could be still half an hour left in this game. Of course. And Ryan, what is the game plan going in to the you know the last 20, 30 minutes of the game? It's going to just try attack now. Try and get hold of the ball. Is it, is it time for ultra attacking? Yeah, of course. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, lads. Let's go. Let's go, man. Ryan, are you still confident you can turn this around? 30 minutes left, 2-0. What are your thoughts? Uh, if I get the next goal, I'm back in it, but it's not looking likely at all now. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Yeah, big, big last half an hour up, coming up, Joe. And it's interesting looking at the draw, Joe. I want to just talk about who the winners will play. So this is, of course, Burnley, West Ham, as we've said. 30 minutes left, currently 2-0 Burnley. The winners will play Josh Franceschi from Arsenal, one of our two celebrity players. A big, big Arsenal fan from Yumi at six, of course. Uh, so that is who faces the winner of this game. McNeil. Sorry, Adam. He's in and he's missed the rebound as well. A fantastic chance. Sean Dyche on the sideline there, not happy with that piece of finishing from, I think, Chris Wood. Mm. Yeah, it was interesting seeing really the... Uh... This game. Here's a chance for Fredericks. Oh, oh, has got the next goal. 2-1. A jetty with the goal, Harry. <laughs> Ryan Fredericks didn't even let us see the replay. That's how serious he is about that goal. He's back in there. I did say, don't watch out for Ryan. I told you, the gamer chair, I did warn you guys, he wasn't listening to Smithy. They didn't listen to me. Ryan, what a finish that was. You must be happy with that. Yeah, I'll be happy if I get another one, though. Chance. Ooh. Here's a chance then for West Ham on the counter attack. Very good chance for Ryan oh. Fredericks. In around the area. Chance, that is a goal. He's back in the oh. game. Two all. An unbelievable turnaround in the last five minutes. Ryan, what have you changed? He's daffed. He's daffed. He's only got a dab. Getting a few chances. But Dwight's still the favourite, of course. He's, he's hammered me this game, so. We'll probably go and score you two or have, three more now. You still have Dwight favourite, Ryan. Despite the fact you scored two in a in a quick space of time, you still say Dwight's slight favourite with you in the last 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, for sure. That's what this Ooh, game does, okay. doesn't it? Um, anything can happen. So, Dwight, what's Ooh, your thought process oh, now? What, what are you ball, changing? Uh, I'm not changing anything. I just keep playing the way I'm um, playing. Uh, hopefully create a chance. All to play for then, last 20 minutes here. Burnley 2, West Ham 2. Of course, if it does end as a draw, this will go to golden goal between Dwight McNeil and Ryan Fredericks. Who's that, man? Oh. Just rushing it a bit here. It's very, very tense. 15 minutes left to play, Smithy. Yeah, 2 0 lead Dwight McNeil had. Once again, I've got to say, Joe, the substitutions and the tactical change we've seen have worked in all three matches. Um, Ryan Fredericks was the same, made a few changes, and he's right back in this game. It's 2 all with 74 minutes on the clock. Uh, fascinating last 15 minutes. And of course, this is game three of day one. We haven't seen a match end in a draw. If it does, this will be the first game that ends in a draw. We do then go to golden goal. So it'll be interesting to see how the players' nerves will hold out for golden goal uh, as Dwight McNeil's on the attack. Joe? Here's a chance for Dwight McNeil. Oh, it's fantastic defending from the, the defender in the game, Ryan Fredericks. That's really good work. But Dwight McNeil looking for four smoke openings. Here's McNeil. Here's a chance. And it's 3-2 with 12 minutes left on the clock. Dwight McNeil scores with himself, Harry. Oh, He scores with himself. What a finish, Dwight. I must ask you a question. 
How 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 good does yeah. your player look? Does he look like you? Yeah, I think uh, on FIFA 19 he didn't look as uh, like me, but this year I think he looked second to none. I'm, every time I see it, I laugh, and because I play I play with my normal team, I just laugh. I think it's quality there, the graphics. So Ryan, you've just conceded. It's three two. How's it looking? We we still got time. I mean, we just need one chance. Yeah. It's trying to shut him out of the other end's the problem. Joe, I don't think we could have anticipated it. Uh, I took off Nobs and put on Lanzini. Get a bit more creativity in that midfield. Okay. Should sub so myself Lanzini. for that defending. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna need some attacking impetus here from Ryan Fredericks in the last twelve minutes to get something out of this game. Three two. Dwight McNeil. Dwight, what changes did you just make there? Uh, I brought Vids on and Azza for a bit of pace. Um, a bit of fresh legs. You've fresh legs going forward, especially. It looks like he's going to stay attacking. Ryan Fredericks, though, to the byline. And he's still going, Fredericks. It's a chance. It's a scramble. But it's well defended in the end by Dwight McNeil. Smithy, if this game does stay as it is 3 2, what can we expect over the next few days? Oh, so, so much competitive FIFA to bring you. As we say, it is a, a one game knockout. You lose one match and you're out of the tournament. Dwight with a chance here. Oh, good save. One loss and you're out of the tournament, Joe. This is the round one stage. Eight teams, four matches in round one, and then the rest of us will join for the last 16. Every single Premier League club is represented. The winner of this match, which is, of course, Burnley West Ham, will play Josh Franceschi from Unit 6, who won earlier today from Arsenal. So he is the Arsenal representative. Uh, so every team will be playing, will be with you all up until Saturday, which is the grand final day. Uh, fascinated to see who will be crowned, crowned the first ever EPL Invitational winner. Not long to go now, Joe. You feel like Ryan Fredericks might have one last chance to get into it. And if he does get a chance, he's surely got to take it. Yeah, I mean, ultra attacking mode will be switched firmly on right now from Ryan Fredericks. Needs that goal, doesn't he? Three minutes left on the clock. Dwight McNeil still continuing with that really intricate build up. And then I think that's a foul in the middle. Or it might be offside, but either way, Dwight McNeil looks looks like a serious player here in terms of the build-up play and the strategy he's put forward. Obviously, one of the first no. players to score with his own character so yeah. far on the game. Harry, how impressed have you been with Dwight's output so far? Very, very impressed, actually. Um, he's stuck to his formation, stuck to his style of good football. Even though um, Ryan came back and scored two goals, he didn't change the way he played. Um, I even asked him if he was going to change anything, and he said nothing. Um, and he oh. proved me wrong, basically. <laughs> what a tackle that is, by the way, by Ryan Fredericks. Unbelievable bit of defending. And then a brilliant ball to release the wide man. Oh, my days. Here's a chance. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my oh. God. What a chance in the 93rd minute from Ryan Fredericks. Oh, last chance of the game. But it's not to oh, be. Goodness, and yeah. Burnley run out 3-2 winners against West Ham, Smithy. Yes, big, big win. So there we have it. Burnley advanced. Dwight McNeil. Dwight, Ryan, uh, brilliant game. Thanks both for being involved. Dwight, 3-2. And of course, the winning goal was scored by yourself in the game. Give us an insight into what that feels like. We all play ultimate team. We don't have that luxury. We can't score with ourselves in the game. What was it like for Dwight McNeil to play and Dwight McNeil to score the winning goal? Uh, amazing feeling. Obviously, happy for my character to get the winning goal. But the main thing is about progressing to the next round. Yeah, Harry, uh, thoughts on the game? Ryan, uh, great effort, but ultimately came up a bit short. Yeah. yeah um, back on COD for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryan, let's talk about your performance. 3-2, um, so close, having got it back to two. I was interested that you said you still thought Dwight was the favourite. What, 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 why was that after scoring two goals in such quick succession? Uh, it was against the run I played, really, you know. He had, a, he had a, a lot more of the ball, a lot more opportunities. Uh, I was just clinical with my two chances. Uh, yeah, it was hard to keep him out. He had a lot of the ball, he was keeping the ball well, so it was hard to play against. Yeah, and unfortunately, that is your tournament over because it is obviously a straight knockout. Uh, you've played against Dwight. How far do you think he can go? He looks a very, very good FIFA player. Yeah, hopefully all the way. So at least I can say I got beaten against the winner. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> 
Dwight, how are you feeling now? You look a lot more relaxed than you were five minutes ago. Um, next opponent, you will you are up against Arsenal. Uh, how do you think that'll go? You know, um, different challenge in it, different team, different opponent. But um, no, I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully, um, just play the way I've been playing, and you never know what could happen in the next round. Brilliant. Well, congratulations to Dwight McNeil. Commiserations to Ryan Fredericks. Uh, thank you both. We'll see you again very soon, Dwight McNeil. Joe, another classic game. Yes. And we are being blessed in this tournament with just so many goals. So many goals. I mean, we saw seven in the first two games each, didn't we? So some really good FIFA on show, by the way. Dwight McNeil obviously knows the game very well with that intricate slow build-up, looking to pick passes through the lines the same way Neil Mope did. Josh Franceschi, slightly different strategy, a little bit more direct using the pace of that forward line, using the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to great effect. And that's going to be some clash. Josh Franceschi versus Dwight McNeil in the next round, Smiths. Yeah, Harry, I mean, we are being blessed with goals in this tournament. Uh, another close game, though. The first one was very one-sided, but it just goes to show what a great format this tournament is because players are going at it from minute one and we've been blessed with so many goals. Another tight encounter. Another tight encounter, different game, same results in terms of goals, which we all wanted. Um, I love that game because simply because it was back and forth, um, very tight, and I think that's what we needed. It shows... That FIFA is a game, but it's really not because you saw how serious they was. I can't wait to see the fourth game, man. Great, great game. I think that's a great point, Harry, as well. What we're seeing is how competitive these players are. Obviously, we know they're competitive when they're on the pitch, but brilliantly, they want to win. Every single player that's been in this wants to win. So let's round up the matches from round one. Three games done, one to come on day one of the EPL Invitational. Neil Mopai. Very, very emphatic 6-1 victory against Aston Villa. That is John McGinn and Aston Villa's tournament done and dusted. Arsenal, our first celebrity player, Josh Franceschi from UMI at 6, beating Nathaniel Chalabert of Watford 4-3. And then our recent game, Dwight McNeil of Burnley. 2-0 up he was. Ryan Fredericks from West Ham got it back to 2 all. Skip the replay straight back into the game, but Dwight McNeil scored with Dwight McNeil late on to give Burnley the victory and they advance the next round. Our next game will be Bournemouth against Southampton. We can see what this means for the draw. Of course, today's matches, four round one matches, eight teams entering into round one. This is all based on the draw that Jamie Redknapp did yesterday. The remaining 12 teams all enter in the last 16 stage, which we will bring you uh, through the week. So Brighton, Arsenal and Burnley are three of our four round one teams that have advanced. The next game is Bournemouth against Southampton, South Coast Derby. It is Philip Billing, one of the players highly tipped to go potentially all the way. We've mentioned three or four players that are very hotly tipped in the FIFA community. Philip Billing is one of those going up against Angus Gunn. Joe, can't wait for this next game. Yeah, very, very excited to see what Philip Billing has got in his locker. Obviously, everybody's talking about him online, him and Todd Cantwell being potential favourites for it. But, you know, we see Neil Mope do absolute bits today. So I think he could be dangerous, as could Josh Franceschi and Dwight McNeil. Awesome games. And whoever wins this next one, the round of 16 tie against Neil Mope is going to be an absolute epic. Harry, I think what's exciting about this stage, uh, which we've seen, is that we, we don't know a great deal about all of the competitors. So it's throwing up so many games with so many goals that it's, it's quite exciting watching these round one games because we're talking about Bournemouth and, and Philip Billion, but we're, we're, we're maybe doing Angus Gunn a disservice because he might be a great player as well. We just don't know quite simply what's going to happen in this game. I think that's a good thing. I think we're all going to expect the unknown. Um, obviously, the players which we know are good. That's, that's a fact. But the players who we don't know and some of the celebrities that we didn't know how good they are. So I think it's all an exciting time right now. Um, really and truly, I, I'm just expecting more goals. I think we've been blessed with three amazing games, and I hope it continues, which I know it will. But there's some big games to look out for, so I can't wait, man. Yeah, OK, so that concludes our third game uh, from round one, from day one. Uh, don't go anywhere, though, because we'll be back very shortly with our final game from round one from day one it's Bournemouth against Southampton we'll be back very soon don't forget stay home and save lives see you soon